the villagers of Saribubu in central Senegal are working hard under bleaching sun. They are building stone buns. These are erosion control measures that break the destructive power of runoff water and help the heavily degraded land recover. In recent years, the villagers have seen erosion processes accelerate, damaging their roads to markets and schools, and washing away the fertile topsoil of their cropland. Roads have been retraced before, and once cultivated land, abandoned. But this is the first time that women and men of Sarebubu are working together towards a durable solution to the persistent erosion problem aggravated by climate change. The problem was prioritized during the Dimitra Club meetings. Alassane Jai from FAO explains how Dimitra Clubs create space for dialogue, consultation and social mobilization within a village. We are part of a group of generations entre eux. Le courant passe, il y a une liberté d'expression, il y a une démocratie générationnelle. Et ensemble, nous pouvons retrouver en assemblée villageoise, on écoute la restitution des générations en générations, de sorte qu'en fait, des bonnes idées peuvent paraître là où on ne s'y attendait pas. In Sarekali, Dimitra clubs have identified the need for women to diversify their families' diets, as well as earn some extra money. Women created a community vegetable garden and initiated farmer field schools to learn how to maximize their production while minimizing the impact of increasing temperatures and decreasing rainfall. These are but some examples of how Dimitra clubs and farmer field schools are increasingly empowering, educating and equipping agro-pastoral communities in Senegal, making them the agents of change, jointly tackling the impacts of a changing climate on their livelihoods incomes and lives.